hello welcome to another video so for today i'm going to show you five products that i love to use for everyday or simple makeup look these are bb cream cc cream foundation tinted moisturizer and even tinted sunscreen so i have here a color correcting cream or we usually know as cc cream so this is from elf this is the camo cc cream so the shade that i got is light in 240 so as we know cc cream also acts like a skincare so it has benefits for our skin this one it has peptide collagen and niacinamide it also has spf 30. so i like the packaging of this product so this is the only cc cream that i own which comes in a pump so now let's swatch it oops looks like i put a lot but let's just try to work with it so let's blend it so this one is lightweight, but I would say thicker than a tinted, tinted moisturizer. So this one is like a yellow beige, like a yellow tone, which is the one that I'm looking for. I think I put a lot of product, but let's just try to blend it. But as you can see, it hides the scar that I have in my wrist. The only thing that I hate about this product is it's not good if you have dry skin like me. It does show some dry patches on my face. So you really have to be really moisturized when you wear this. So that's Camo CC Cream by Elf. Moving on to the next one. I have here Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. This one is with aloe and promised to last for 12 hours. So I am in shade 220. And I have to say this is my favorite among all. So it does what it says it's really natural looking so if you want something like a no makeup makeup look and as well lightweight as well so i would really go for this one it's very hard for me to find a shade that would actually match my skin tone they're usually too white or too orangey too pink but this one is perfect it does blend well so let's swatch it i'm going to show you although i have to say that my wrist is fairer than my face so this might look a bit darker but it isn't as dark as it looks on my face there it is so it actually match on the skin tone the more you blend it but we'll try on the other side of my wrist as this one is closer um shade with my face okay so there you go i'm not going to put too much as i don't want to waste the product there so as you can see it matches right away so there it's like nothing it's really natural looking which i like but made my skin look better so that's maybelline fit me tinted moisturizer and i'm almost running out i would definitely repurchase this one so next is another Maybelline product and this is Dream Urban Cover. So this is actually a foundation. It has SPF 40 and it's meant to have some benefits on your skin as well aside from just being a makeup. So it's meant to protect you from pollution and from the sun. So let's try it out. This one it says it's also full cover. So let's swatch it. So this one though has a different formulation. It is more runny or watery to me there as you can see i'm not even um pressing the product but there are like products coming out on its own i expected a foundation to be thick if it's a school full coverage but um one thing that's good with this one is it is lightweight so again i put too much product so kind of challenging to blend but let's work it out as you can see it doesn't look too thick but it does cover the scar that i have so i won't say it's full coverage because i can still see a little bit of it now let's try the other side of my wrist and as you can see it does match with my actual skin tone there and it's quite dewy if you notice it isn't matte so yes, that's Maybelline's Dream Urban Cover. So next is the Korean brand. I got this one from Yes Style. It is a Sika Clearing BB Cream. 
This is from the brand Porito, and this is in the shade number 23. So it has UV protection as well, fragrance-free, and it's meant to give you a healthy glow, which is most Korean BB cream is known for. It always have that dewy, glowing look. Let me just quickly wipe that up. So now let's... Oh, look at the shade. It has that grayish um, tone. So it's quite different from the others that I've shown you, even the CC cream from the Maybelline. So it's not the first time that I have worn this type of shade, and I actually like the gray tone one. They tend to like adapt to your actual skin tone. So there it is. As you can see, it does give me a nice glow. And what I noticed, this product is so fluffy like a mousse. I like blending it. It's so soft. By the way, this product is good if you have acne as the Sika has the healing properties. But for some reason, it gives me acne. So that's a weird reason why I stopped wearing this for a long time. So just be careful with the white packaging as it tends to leave a print or a stain that would make it look messy. So now last product that I'm going to show you is a tinted sunscreen with SPF 30. So this is from BLK Cosmetics. So this is actually a Philippine brand. And I love their packaging. First thing that I noticed that made me want to buy it. So I've never worn a tinted sunscreen before. So it actually feels just like wearing a tinted moisturizer. So it's good when you don't want to wear makeup. Just a sunscreen and just give a little bit tint on your face. So I haven't worn this one for a while. But let's try swatch it again. So here we go. So as this is very watery runny than the other product that i've shown you i think that was a uh, maybelline foundation as you can see it is so watery so it's really lightweight so it's good if you don't want something that's thick if you want to uh, wear something that um, feels like nothing so this is a good product for you and it also has that to refinish so that's a tinted sunscreen from BLK. So it's the first product that I've tried from the brand and it isn't bad at all. So these are all the products that I enjoy wearing when I like a simple look just for every day. No makeup, makeup look. Sometimes I even wear it at home, especially this Fit Me um, by Maybelline Tinted Moisturizer. So thank you all for tuning in and hopefully you'll tune in again next time.